Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. I'm going to bring you a quick 10 minute reading. The Druid, the Druid Craft Tarot. <clears throat> okay. We've got a figure there that's cloaked. It's got the two of cups behind him. Let's give these cards a shuffle. Let's have a look at this energy today. Seven of Swords, that looks like a masculine who is um, trying to work something out. I felt, first of all, like an apology. He's trying to write an apology, but then I felt the energy of going over the accounts. Okay, so I don't feel anything to do with money. This is when you're um, going over past events, you're recalling. Um, <clears throat> It's, I feel like it's a ledger with uh, do's and don'ts or <laughs> uh, pros and cons, cons and pros. He's going over matters, matters in his mind. Let's get another card. Death. So I feel like something's come to an end. In this masculine's life. Oh, it's coming to an end. But the energy of um, a feminine here who's kind of um, given up hope. And things are fading away. Take note of the snake there. And then take note of the snake that's... Holding the flame. So I feel, let's say this is the Divine Feminine's energy and all that's left of the masculine is his head, his skull. And I feel like soon, I don't know whether or not she's putting it into the cauldron. It feels like it's the end of this connection. It's like she's severed cords and all that's left is this uh, this masculine's head. To be or not to be, that is the question. And then on the other side, we have the masculine here. I felt an apology letter. Um, recollect him. Going over the past. Um, definitely your energy is uh, involved in this, Divine Feminine. This masculine's got a lot on his mind. Today, I feel. Maybe this evening. I'm just taken to like the bat there and then the, the moon. I was going to say the sun's setting. Feeling, I feel the masculine's feeling that the sun's setting on this connection with the divine feminine. The snake energy, I feel, is the, the temptation. So the Divine Feminine kind of saying, well, I was tempted by the snake. And the energy of it being dead and buried now. This is a death card. And then we have the masculine here who's recalling events. I feel seeing them in the light of day. Or maybe in the moonlight. Bottom of the deck here is a nine of wands. The energy of wanting to stand and deliver. Something's happened in this masculine's life. I feel that he's feeling the divine feminine's energy um, withdrawal. I said there was a, a cloaked figure here. With the two of cups behind her. Okay. I was going to shuffle them. Let's shuffle them because I've got a few more moments now. Maybe five more minutes. <laughs> I've just been informed. One more card. The Princess of Pentacles. 
The energy of looking into a mirror, the energy of looking from a different perspective. So you've changed your perspective, Divine Feminine. You're actually kind of looking at a pentacle, so you might be looking at your money. So this masculine here, he's uh, going over the accounts, and I feel like you might be doing the same, Divine Feminine, but you're not focusing on the masculine anymore. Where's the death card gone? I must have put it back in the deck. That's all I've got there. So I've kind of exchanged the death card to your transformation. Let's read about the Princess of Pentacles. Right at the beginning. So it's like kind of um, going back to the beginning. Studious, self-reliant and good-natured. Potential for a new creative phase. Try meditating on the seeds of your creative project that lie in the past and on your vision of them in the future. Happy news about a family member or friend. Good news about money, investments, property or work. In brackets, it says likely to be relatively small sums or gains. Let's look at this masculine's energy. The energy coming through on this is the show must go on. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Insights, strategy and research. New ideas challenge old assumptions and great progress is made. Using intellect, wit or charm to gain an advantage or recover something that has been lost. But care must be taken not to start believing the ends justify the means. Strategic planning or research, espionage, deceit or escape. Bottom of the deck. <clears throat> so I feel the Divine Feminine is at the crossroads here. Which path to take? She did still have like... I was going to say the Divine Masculine's mind. The Divine Masculine on the mind. Two of Swords. Dilemma, opposition and procrastination. You may bring about a temporary reconciliation. Eventually the storm clouds will break and the conflict will be resolved. You may be struggling with a dilemma a need for diplomacy, negotiation and integrity, knowing when to confront, when to decide and when to placate, calm or compromise. <clears throat> Let's finish with a message from Rumi. Oh, there's the death card over there. To be or not to be, that's is the question. Okay, let's get a final message from Rumi. <clears throat> you who show the way. Card number 33. Interesting with this energy here. Just taken to like that cloaked figure. And I can see myself in the reflection. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you who show the way. I'll hold these two cards up. The logical mind runs away from drowning. Lovers accept drowning in the sea as their destiny. The logical mind finds consolation in reaching a level of comfort in life. 
Lovers are focused beyond their own comfort. I have looked to you in my darkest moments, search for you as though fumbling for the candle and matches during an unexpected and interminable blackout. He's the one with the, the candle lit here. Nay, nay, <laughs> I've missed out a little bit. I am the ship at sea, seeking you as my guiding light. Nay, I am the sea, rising up to the horizon, because I yearn to be closer to you. Then, oh, to my greatest relief, you rise like a phoenix from the ocean, casting hallowed golden light all around you, this great blazing angel of holy fire. In a sweet instant, my soul rests in your presence. The sea becomes calm. The darkness abates. Your light reveals truth and through your living presence, I know my true self again. I am what you are. Even when it appears, I am returning after being lost in darkness. As though I could ever be extinguished. I am divine light. I am you, a living sun. <clears throat> sun rising now. Even in your unquestionable passion for service to humanity, to the world that offers you so much, there is a time when your most powerful offering is actually and most simply that of your presence. You show the way. You, who inspire through how you choose to live and be, you who sometimes think yourself to be invisible. You who consider yourself to be of no particular or exceptional worth. Yes, you. You who through your choice to live your truth, reveal my face, demonstrate my love, embody my presence, heal my beloveds and love my creations. This oracle comes to you with a special message. You are an inspiration. You are helping those around you and even many of whom you are unaware. You are doing this because this is your path, this is your way and this is your gift to live a life dedicated to the growth of consciousness and through that dedication inspire others to receive the loving consciousness of the great beloved that can benefit them so greatly no matter what their situation or circumstances. You are not doing this through any effort or will. You are doing this because this is your nature, your being and your way. Just as the sun breaks through darkness with its own light, shining light with its presence by simply being, so too does your inner sun and your soul. You don't have to understand this or do anything with the information given. Although you may find it of comfort or even be shocked by it, Ple pleasantly, perhaps. It is just an acknowledgement of who and what you are, given freely because you are ready to receive such an acknowledgement. You are also being gifted through this oracle with a sign, a portent. This oracle is an omen, an issue, an issue too difficult for you to understand, no matter how hard you have been working on it, is about to be resolved. You have no need to hold on to it or become more worthy of that resolution. It is going to happen according to the grace of the Great Beloved and your job is to allow it to happen, to simply bear witness to the resolution, even if you have no idea what is going on in the process. You may find that whilst you are letting go, the resolution happens without you being aware of it until after the fact then apparently all of a sudden what was an issue is no longer so. You who help others are a worthy recipient of the help of the Great Beloved. Be prepared to surrender all plans and convictions about what you can and cannot be, about what you think you know and what you think you need. Allow the benevolent grace of the Beloved to take you through the great waves as the sea becomes calm and serene under the living divine light. This oracle brings the message that if you have a situation in your midst that feels impossible to resolve, 
the divine has it covered. Do the sacred honouring ritual and let it be sorted out by a power greater than your own. It shall be sorted out and your sun shall rise. Just as day follows night again and again, so too shall your sun rise after an issue or struggle. Have faith and hope and know that this is a sensible approach to any dilemma, no matter how serious it may seem. For what use is it to bemoan the absence of day, even on the longest night, when you know in every moment dawn is ever close, closer to breaking once again? <clears throat> Your hope then is not foolish, but wise. The sacred honour and ritual. Place your hands on your heart and say, The divine who loves me unconditionally blesses me now with such grace that my life aligns with divine order and all becomes golden, blessed and mercifully held in the compassionate consciousness of the Creator. I thank you for the courage and faith I have needed to endure the night and I now celebrate the coming dawn. I see it breaking, I see its light and I thank you for this mercy. With Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, I am now shown the way to the dawn. It is at my feet and together we step into the gift of a new day. So be it. If you have a specific issue you would like addressed, hand it over to the Divine Beloved now by talking about it, just as if you were having a conversation with your oldest and dearest friends for that is exactly what will be taking place. Then when you have explained your feelings, your doubts or fears, let it go and know that the situation is held in the grace of the Great Beloved. You have completed your sacred honour and ritual. And I have completed this 17 minutes and 8 second reading. I will catch up with you guys soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.